Yeah, it's recording. Yeah. The red line is going across and across and across. Oh, I have impressions. Do you do impressions, Joe? Um, yeah. <laughs> you, this what's, is what's that? That's uh, that's Pete sucking my cock after the show. That's not what it sounds like. No, don't make those noises. I'm very like quiet. This, go, He's not a slurper. You go like this. You go. Thank you. No, Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. I don't do any of that. That's uh, off. Oh my God! It's the most beautiful hey, woman I've Come on in. in. Come on in, Gabe. <laughs> this is Give us our stuff. <laughs> yeah, we are recording. We're right on the air now. There's actually Almost. one one. Uh, viewer. How's it going? Oh, oh man, all these rules all the time when women come around. <laughs> what? Women bring rules, and I don't like it. I don't like all the rules all the time. Aww. Don't do that. Why are you kiss? How would we survive? I mean, it's true. Have, you, have you ever heard of the army? They're mostly men, and they survive just fine. Ever hear of a construction crew? They're mostly men. We build buildings. There's no women around. We yes. do fine without women. Actually, <laughs> we would. <laughs> but yeah. Oh yeah, we, that the soldiers will surrender their thighs. This is for Dave Charters. He what? he always says that, and uh, that a lot of times the Greeks, you know, the Greeks. Yeah, soldiers, they're all by. Yeah, the Greeks always have the reputation that they will take it in the butt. Yeah, you know, and they like anal sex. Yeah, and uh, but this is comes from a time, you know, where uh, the 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 older Greek soldiers mm. would like hang around with the younger Greek soldiers mm. and stuff like that, but they wouldn't have anal sex with them. Dave will point out, they would sometimes. He read, yeah, that a lot of times the uh, younger the, the soldiers would surrender their thighs to the senior okay. officers. Fuck. And that's and they wouldn't go to their butthole, yeah. but they go they surrender their thighs. Well, because you might injure and then they'll die from an, an infection. So that's like, probably why too many of them died from ass fucking. Also, it's just not comfortable. It's not a it's not a comfortable. Yeah, if you're a man, you don't care what you do to a boy. Yeah, you, but surrendering <laughs> this is a weird place that we're. Can you from. imagine like if uh, like <laughs> you know? Off, thank you for you the brought food. it up. You brought it up. You came in here to give us food. Yeah. This is I'm talking to my wife for those that can't hear because yeah. she's off mic. And then she gave me rules. She comes into the room as we're starting our mm-hmm. show and graciously, mm-hmm. out of the kindness of her heart, prepares us a tray of delicious treats. Right? Yeah. So we're not we're not knocking that by any stretch I, I of the imagination. At all. But off mic, she starts shouting about surrendering Greeks yeah. surrendering their thighs. You know, <laughs> to remind me. To go into this old story that yeah. I can't help but telling if I'm reminded of it because I'm like Pavlov's dog or whatever. You know, you say Greeks surrendering their thighs. I'll have to get in yeah. the story about how the young soldiers would get in all fours and just hold their thighs yeah, together. Yeah, you already said it. And so then they would like take like sheep's like fat or whatever yeah. and just put it all over their thighs, you know? Why not so that a good horkin? A good <laughs> Because that will just uh, absorb into your skin. You need something that's oily and fatty that's <laughs> going to stay lubricant. That's just the, their their hair hair oil because full head of Greek hair is very oily. Oh, Greek hair is, is, is very oily. oily. Olive yeah. oil. Yeah, so he like, does need you. <laughs> I need you here to. Okay, do it again. Do it again. Give us another Bring us subject. Con- Give us, just yell at something disgusting. And then he'll be like, oh, what's something that Pete said dirty a thousand times? Just go like uh, anything. I always find that I love. Ev- I always find that I love every uh, everyone else's wife more than my own because I've always enjoyed Aww. her company and right. I enjoyed talking to her. But I, I can't stand talking to my wife or even being around her. <clears throat> I've never met your wife. I've never I been allowed to. I think you would to. like her. I think it's the same for all men. I think we all love other people's wives better than our own. Well, I'm actually happy to yeah. hear you say that, Joe. Yeah. Because in all the years I've known you, mm. you have never told me that that I would like your wife. So yeah. I have always assumed I would not like her. No, you'll like her as a person. You won't want to fuck her. But you'll like her as a person. <laughs> like, I, like- I want to do both to your wife. Really? Be her friend and have sex with her. <laughs> <laughs> now she's just staying. Now she's perched up, now ready, staying, ready yeah. to give me her thighs. Well, uh, <laughs> is it cheating? Surrender. Yo, surrender. It, if she surrenders her thighs, is it cheating? I don't know. Is that cheating? Jane? Is it cheating? That is cheating. Of course, it is cheating. I'll tell you, Joe. Did you get married Catholic? 
Yeah, uh, unfortunately, yes, I did when I was still Catholic. So you were in a church? Yeah, under the eyes of God. Under the eyes of God. Did you have the two candles that became one? Yeah, I just burned my kids' baptism candles in the fire in the backyard. <laughs> yeah. Fuck God, am I right, guys? <laughs> did you really do that? I did. I got, So my wife was cleaning out stuff because we bought a whole bunch. I let her buy some new furniture and stuff like that. Yeah, you know, right. She deserved it, you know? She's all right. And uh, she was taking stuff out and found the two baptism candles for my kids. She goes, what do we do with these? Do we give them to your mom? I'm like, my mom, fuck her. I was like, no, I'm just going to burn them in a fire in the backyard. So I lit on the, the, the fire pit and I lit a cigar with one of them and then I threw it in the fire pit. Another one I just lit and let burn till, till it was done. Oh, yeah. So nothing's – it's been a couple of weeks and – or it's been like a week or two. Nothing's happened. We use the – Are they unbaptized? Was my son unmolested? Did your son <laughs> – did your son get you, – so you're both, you baptized both your kids. Yeah. So I baptized my son when I was an angry Catholic. Yeah. Questioning God about you know mm-hmm. the craziness in the world, and then by the time I had my daughter, I was already an atheist. But my wife thought it was unfair that she wouldn't have a baptism and get all those presents that you get from baptisms. So you just continued the church. So I just like fine, whatever. Let's have a. It got so bad to a point where my parents were like, "We don't want you at the church." I'm like, "You can't tell me not to go to the church. I, it's my kid's baptism." They're like, but you don't believe in God. I'm like, "No, not at all." Did, did your wife was your wife Catholic? No. Or? And that's that was one of the things my my parents hated because I never made her become a Catholic. Oh, uh, yeah. You know they had to she had to sign a piece of paper saying that she had to promise to baptize the kids because she wasn't becoming Catholic. Really, she had to yeah. sign a paper for that. She had to sign a paper, which means nothing. Just so like the get, marriage certificate. You means didn't nothing. get communion at your wedding, though. Right? I got communion at my wedding. I was still but, an but, angry but Catholic. But not the. Uh, you didn't go with. The, I don't think they do communion. As far as I remember, they don't do communion at baptism ceremonies. No, not baptism at um, at your wedding. I don't think they do communion. If do they you get do? married to a Catholic, yeah, I got okay, married. Okay, so what, then we did. I don't remember. I, no, no, I you sure. didn't marry a Catholic. Oh, so I don't think. No, you get no, communion. I think we did. They just skipped her. Oh yeah, but yeah. did the whole did the whole congregation come up and get communion, or just like you? I think it was. I think anyone that wanted to got it. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I yeah. know some people in her family who weren't Catholic because they're they're native. Yeah. They just wanted to go up and see what it was. And they went, ah, they did like the ah thing. Like yeah, yeah. J- Jane had a German, uh, one of her friend's German uh, uh, mm-hmm. uh, boyfriend. I'm pretty goddamn sure this German was not Catholic. Yeah, he just went up for the wafer. Because he went up, he was wearing a tuxedo. He was better dressed than I was. Mm-hmm. And you can see it in my wedding video. He just holds out his hand, one single hand. Yeah, so he's never Whoa. done this before. Yeah. <laughs> Merci. No, like, he's like, like oh. Oh. Good name, I'm a Good name, I'm a Good name, that's uh, something like that. <laughs> just to like, like <laughs> this just like the jizz. That was our thing. That's a thank you. It's, it's a very That's, ugly language. It is very ugly. Hey, I have for this show, we're going to get started the way we have to get started. But now we're going to, I know that because we started out that you mm. came Catholic, uh, Robot Dave's got some real Catholic opinions. Does he? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. He's, he's good to talk to. I didn't even know that you had a robot. We have to, we have to talk about. Why don't you just get your wife to be a, a like another talking head here? <laughs> Why? Oh, now <laughs> she's doing the cross like I'm like I'm a vampire. Oh, oh, that's I don't mind that at all. Yeah, she got her hair done today. I she always looks beautiful. Yeah, she's very beautiful. Yeah, very nice. She's the reason why we're friends. We all know this. I've yeah, this story a hundred times. I don't know if you told it on the air though. That's true. Probably told. But you, we, we were only friends. Has Kevin heard this story. I mean, we have uh, me and Joe are only friends because um, one time I brought my wife to Hamilton as a holiday. Yeah, as a holiday, as a holiday <laughs> for a weekend. And I was going to go to uh, there was like a we were like we're gonna it wasn't even an open mic it was on the street we we're doing street comedy. Oh yeah, Mr. Sobel. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it was shut down immediately. Yeah, and, after just one comedian. <laughs> Who was the one? It was Brandon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but that was fun times. Anyways, it, it, and that was the first time that you gave me the time of day because yeah. you got a chance to talk to my wife. Oh, yeah. oh God, dude. She, you know, you see her. She's fucking yeah, She's beautiful. Yeah, yeah so, you guys had a good time. But then anyways, I, took, I took a shine to you after. I don't know. How does that happen, though? I don't know because I'm always trying to, like, get in there, right? <laughs> you thought that was your way in? Yeah. yeah. You become friends with a, a guy and then you fuck his wife. Oh, okay. That way it hurts more when you, <laughs> when you stop being his friend. It's funny how there's, a, there's like, a few people in my life who openly, openly 
try to bang my wife. I've never tried yet. No, no, but yeah, but like, but like, you're open in your intention oh, that, yeah. that you would like to. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's there's a few guys in my life who openly like hit on my wife in mm-hmm. front of me and tell me that they want to bang my wife, and I still end up being their friend, and I don't understand. Yeah, how, but you know, uh, I wouldn't. No, I know. While you're this al- other, this other guy too. <laughs> while you're alive, while you're alive, while you're, while I'm alive, yeah, I know. Say while you're watching that. No, 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 no. And this is interesting. Yeah. This is another thing we have to add to the to the thing. Is like, what would happen if I? We'll talk about that yeah. on the show. Well, what happened if I die? And mm-hmm. who's all going to try to fuck my wife? And I mean, we're going to talk about uh, where I, uh, I, <laughs> my wife wants me to go somewhere in the world to get out mm-hmm. of the, out of here. To to die there? <clears throat> no, not to die there. But she wants me to say, "You've been here long enough with mm-hmm. the whole pandemic and everything. You're kind of stir crazy. Mm-hmm. You're kind of been, you, you need, you know, you need to go shake the sads out. Just get beat. Just up. go yeah. uh, do something. Like go. So, so uh, I know I'm going somewhere. I don't know where. We have to talk about where. Mm-hmm. So that's one thing we have to talk about. And then we have uh, a huge, huge feedback. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> and I think, and then, then, oh, and then we also wanted to do because we're going to do the Catholic with the robot. Yeah. We have to figure out where I'm going, and we have the, the feedback thing. Mm. That's a fucking show, dude. And then you said, oh, impressions, impressions, impressions. And I got an impression to show you that I think you're going to like because you like the uh, Marvel shit, right? Yeah, you have an impression of a Marvel character. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm always angry. Is that what you're going to do? No, no, no. <laughs> oh. I think this one might be good. All right, all right, all right. I've done it for my kids, and they say, normally they, they do not like my impressions, because um, I do like uh, the, the, I kind of did the Schwarzenegger thing already, oh, yeah, it's, yeah. and that's annoying to them. Mm. And I also did an impression of um, Eddie Vedder. I like to do Eddie Vedder every yeah, time I, I hear a pro song. I Eddie song. Vedder sounds yeah, like. Well. I do Ernie and Kermit. That's it. Oh, yeah. Well, isn't it the same? Yeah, it's almost. It's all Jim Henson. I don't know. But it's like it's kind of different. Do them both. Um, you want to do it? Wait, save it for the for yeah, the impression for thing, yeah. segment. Okay, we'll save it for the impression right. segment. So this is like put in. Now you do the intro, and then. yeah. But there's only one way to get the show started. Oh, because this has all just been not the show. Really, oh, okay, it's okay, been okay, the okay, pre-show. Okay. Warm up, me. yeah. But the show oh, warm up because your wife was here. Am I right? The warm. show really <laughs> starts once we play the. Theme Welcome, everybody, to the Dutch Hall. We're going to have a great show for you tonight. We have a guest that's come all the way from Hamilton, Ontario, to be here with us tonight. He's a longtime friend of the show. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Joe Batello is here. Hey. Hello, everybody. Interkip's um, favorite son. Yeah, Interkip's favorite son. Yeah. There you go. And uh, Also, running the board today is a uh, season eight uh, all-star, Kevin Van Dungeon, everyone. And in his rightful spot is my co-host, ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, the season, my, you know, <laughs> I gotta call you, season eight, uh, uh, stalwart, uh, Robot Dave, everyone, Robot Dave. Oh, nice. yeah. Thanks a lot, Pete. Uh, thank you, Dave. Now, uh, yeah, Dave does move. He's, uh, he's He works yeah. on an old breast pump, Joe. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Perfect. Those are worth a lot on Facebook Marketplace. He's breast pumps? Shock. Yeah. Yeah, I took my. Are they really? Because I should could have sold yeah, it. Yeah, you could sell them right uh, now. Not now. It's torn apart and put into the, uh, 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 like a. a what do you call it? Robot. Effigy. I would, of my friend Dave. I would buy it just knowing it was on your wife's boobs. Oh. Oh really? I, I can know. still give the cups. I'll take the cups. How much? <laughs> Fifty bucks a cup. Yeah. All right. Sold. Fuck yeah! <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to get the nutrients out. Yeah, that's great. A little sniff job. Do you know what? That's the thing about me as I've gotten older, Joe, 
It's like when I was young, you know, I'd have dirty thoughts. When mm-hmm. I look at a girl, you'd have a dirty thought and mm-hmm. you'd look at her and you'd be like, oh, I want to do this. You know, it's always, I wanted to like grab it or, or yeah, uh, bite it. Uh, yeah, yeah, choke it, bite it, you know, yeah, lick it. something like that. But now, I sweat deep. Yeah. Now it's smell it. Ooh, it's, I had smell for a while. <laughs> always yeah. smell it. Every time I have a dirty thought, mm-hmm. like if I see a girl, you know, walking in front of me on the street, it's like, I always go to smell, yeah. you know, it's not about grab. It's not about taste. It's mm-hmm. not about like, uh, it's smell. That's man. for, that's for later when you go on, on the prowl, you go hunting. You gotta find her. That's, that's a that scent. Yeah, that's the scent. That's I'm a big hugger, and is that why? FYI, I'm also hugging y'all when I'm hugging you. So what? I hug when I hug. I take a big old sniff. Oh, you're smelling yeah. me. When you're smelling hugging. everyone. Yeah. Uh, um, I, I that's uh, why we just fist bumped. Kelly. I was saying, want to smell me? No, this not yet. Is, not yet. COVID. What if still. I present? If you present your neck to me, I yeah. will hug you and smell you. <laughs> I like the nape of the neck. It was I'll my be presenting part. later. When I, when I I was just a couple of weeks ago. Oh shit! You I smelled think. a girl in public. Yeah, and this is how I knew that I had aged to a certain point where I'm done with the. Uh, because this was a time I did this show. I did that show in Waterloo mm-hmm. at the Crazy Canuck, and it was a late show, the second show. Uh-huh. And there was a super drunk girl in a in like a dress. It was like a summer dress. And uh, she was young and hot and drunk, you know, and annoying, you know, mm-hmm. and talk like a very boisterous. Yeah, like a show. typical woman, yeah. Yeah. And then so I, I go <laughs> to smoke a joint in this outside. Yeah. And they come out to smoke a cigarette. And she's like, uh, wants to do um, Snapchats with me. Yeah. You know? And That's so you're cool. in the smoking area, yeah. you know, with the people that were at your show and mm-hmm. you're doing the Snapchat. That's what you're supposed to do to make, to get fans, bro. Right. I I'm do doing all, all the things I'm supposed okay, to do. Yeah. So the girl's got her arm around me, and she's like, hey, like, I don't know how Snapchat works. Yeah. So I got to pretend. She's, uh, she doesn't know why I'm not doing it. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I, so then I, I do this thing. I say the thing for Snapchat. She makes me do, like, two or three of them. Mm-hmm. And then uh, the whole time I can smell, like, the cheap perfume and, like, booze. And, like, mm-hmm. the when I was young, that would be the smell of uh, victory. Yeah. <laughs> Of, of grandma, that, that would be the smell where you know like things are about to happen. Like there's going to be <laughs> daddy was kicked out of the house. <laughs> yeah, and this did nothing to me but gross me out. Oh. And she's even <laughs> sitting on the steps mm-hmm. and she's like blatantly showing her underpants. You know, like just uh, just hoary, hoary, hoary. Everything hoary about her stuff. is so hoary. So you're not into whores. That's how much you've re- matured. She's That's a... what I think happened. Yeah, but that would would normally titillate me. It's a whore, it, as they should. That's their job. It, it now grosses me out, like a <laughs> sloppy mess. Like I'm like I'm 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 sad for her. Did you get sick in the balls? Are your balls sick? I don't <laughs> know. It's like it's a weird thing. I, I don't know if this is like a, my male menopause, like where you. There's just, no male menopause, is there? Well, menopause. Why don't I want to bang that hoary girl? You could have just <laughs> matured. <laughs> maybe you did. Maybe you did bang, and this is all just. No, a I didn't bang. Her, no, no, maybe you wanted to, but. The yeah. Mess. yeah, but the smell thing with me starts the engine for all the licking, sucking, fucking, biting, choking, slapping. Like, it all starts with the smell. Really? Yeah. Because if I don't like, like, you know, if I don't like how you smell, the, the other stuff isn't going to start. Yeah. The I engine th- doesn't rev up. You know, like, if uh, my wife, my, my Beautiful. wife actually... Mm. Smells so good. She will. She will sometimes like lie in bed with me, and I, and I have a little bit of. What's she uh, wearing when she's lying in bed with you? <clears throat> probably a, night, a nightgown. Oh my god! With a nightcap, See, one of those oh, red and white stripes. An oldie, stri- an oldie <laughs> time one. <Yeah. laughs> nice. <laughs> Swear. She's wearing a nightcap, and you guys just finished a nightcap. You're like, no, that was delicious. Some yeah. long knickers. Usually, I sit in my rocking chair yeah. and smoke a pipe, and yeah. then I go to bed with mother. <laughs> right. What book is she reading? Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, no, she's lying in bed, mm. and uh, she's like, sometimes she'll like, she'll get into her, like, she'll nestle into my oh. my, my shoulder there, you know, put her mm. head there, and then she'll, it's by my armpit, so she'll smell my stinkiness, you know? Mm. And love it. And she'll like it. Yeah. And she will like, she'll like, my, she's, she likes my natural mm. smell. When I have no deodorant or nothing, and yeah. it might be a borderline B.O.E., you know, sometimes she'll say, no, mm. that's B.O., like that's too far. Yeah, it's too much. Yeah, but other times just my natural smell, which I find would be a little bit like I wouldn't want to present that to the general public. Mm-hmm. I want to cover that up somehow. 
but she actually enjoys it. I think you, we all enjoy it because that's how you make the connection. That's a real science thing. That's pheromones. It's pheromones, yeah. I, yeah. Was, I was grasping for the words. That's why I said science thing. Yeah, like, yeah. It's a real science thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they smell the. You smell someone that you mm-hmm. like, and then you, then you know it's the right thing. I'd if rather you can smell your wife when she's like just gross, like mm-hmm. you know, and then you like it. Then she's probably the right one. Yeah, for it's you. not like ha- halitosis or something, but it's just a natural stink. Like I like morning sex the most because like the pussy's just like. Mm. Mm, just enough, you know, just enough funk. Oh, really? Well, I guess let's morning sex funk. to me is the best because you don't have to kiss. I like kissing a dirty mouth sometimes. Uh. <laughs> just like, just... A, like a morning <laughs> mouth? Morning mouth. Like having eight in eight hours and yeah, just have yeah, like yeah. fucking gross, stinky mm. morning breath. You like only, that? Only sins, only the sins of her dreams were in her mouth. Smells like mom's cooking, eh? Yeah. God damn. Mm. That's how you, we're always. You don't dinner. kiss your wife when you morning fuck her. No. Nope. Maybe that probably explains a lot, though. What? She's probably begging to be kissed in the morning. Just She's, kiss her. She is sound asleep, and I'm oh, just doing my business. So you don't even <laughs> ask for consent? What? I'm not doing a podcast with a man like you. He See just, you later, listen. Yeah, spoke <laughs> about consent a few seconds ago. Yeah. yeah. That's because I enjoyed her consent. Yeah. That's Cunt. why I, I, <laughs> I just got the joke when he's. When he, that's he's why. Comedian, not me. That's why I banged her because I enjoyed her consent. consent. So yeah, the smell of a, of a morning pussy is way better than a really clean pussy. I don't like clean pussy smell. If if I uh, if if you wake up in the morning, and uh, and uh, you just go and you um, maybe like say you're just curious, mm. you're saying like, is there a chance? You know. Is there a chance I could I could be in there? Mm-hmm. And maybe I have wandering fingers. Maybe I have like yeah. a wandering finger of some sort. And the finger just kind of wanders into the nethers. And you realize there is already lubrication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pee, though, probably. What? That's pee-pee. From in the, the morning? Yeah, but that's pee-pee from when she ran at like 3 in the morning to go pee-pee and then came back and then... I can tell the difference between pee and, can you? and viscous. Can you? Like honestly, your wife gets visited, visited, like, just, being blah, 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 blah. To, just being next to me. She just get like she gets like it's, it's colored from, and stuff. Like it's from your musk. Yeah, it's discharge. She gets discharge. <laughs> That's not the same as being wet. No, being wet. I, 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 she'd be so mad. Hey, you left, and I started telling people you got discharge. I I let in <laughs> morning viscous <laughs> viscous discharge. Morning sex no, is viscous to, means thick. Like oil. Yeah, it shouldn't be thick. So every time she gets wet with you, she gets thick. Okay, wet. Let me let me just let me just explain this to you. I've been around. You know, a pussy. vagina, a vagina. My when, wife's when pussy a vagina, up. when a vagina pees. Yeah. That pee is watery. Yeah, but then the sweat of the and the pee all mixed in together. Doesn't no. It doesn't make pussy juice. <laughs> pussy juice is different than than pee. If it's just as wet. It's more it's not, viscous. It's not more viscous. It is more viscous. Natural lubricant. It lubricates. Is you. it more viscous? Pee doesn't lubricate you. You ever try to fuck in a hot tub? Yeah, but you're just feeling wetness. You're not finger banging her after. And then this thing with morning sex is like they might still be in mid dream of something. No, what I'm saying when you feel wetness, you can feel the difference between pee wetness and like vagina. Like it lubricant. I can't. My fingers are too too burned off. Uh, stuff. How about, you ever? Did, did you take the marriage class when you tried to get married Catholic? Yeah, we had to take marriage class. Did yeah. they show you how to do the rhythm method? No, they didn't show us the rhythm method. Really? No, we this did, is, it was a two day course. I remember that. Yeah, really. Mine was only one. I took yeah. it one day. But they 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 say that if you want to do the rhythm method, this mm-hmm. is how you you put your fingers in the vagina. And then you like do this, yeah. Where you you put your thumb and your forefinger together, and you, if you pull it apart and the a viscous and it sticks together, the, yeah. the juices stick together so that it, they stick between your things. Yeah, it means she can get pregnant. Yeah, that means she's ovulating. Oh my god, this, I got the stripper story. I don't know if I'm allowed to tell, but viscous. What that, do you mean? No, it's a very. Never did you? Mind. Did you? Uh, did, was a stripper viscous like that? Oh yeah, she was very viscous. She was fertile. You could have got her pregnant. Good thing was just, you know, your finger can't get her hanging pregnant. out with her. Yeah, <laughs> fingering is not against the rules. Yeah, if they is finger it? themselves, is not against the rules. What? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. did she do that? Yeah. Oh, you. Saw I'll that. tell the story because no one is going to probably listen. No one listens to my, my show at all. No, but I mean, my wife's not going to listen to the show. But uh, <laughs> unless you clip this and then I share it on my Instagram and 
my Facebook. Oh, I might. But I, I – okay, this is a real story. None of this is, okay. is exaggerated. I've told this story to friends, but I've never said this on a podcast. So okay, cool. This is an exclusive because I love you. Right. I love the, the fucking Dutch Hall. I've probably been here a million times. I love everyone here. Uh, <laughs> I love everyone uh, here. Uh, okay, so I'm at a strip club, okay? Right. Uh, getting a lap dance, mm-hmm. okay? It was a very hot lap dance. Very hot lap dance. She's she's like grinding like I'm doing my trick that I do with strippers all the time. I'm like, oh yeah, you smell so good. You smell oh, so smell good. again. Yeah, I, I if you tell a stripper she smells good, they like it. And then I do the other thing where I pretend I've never had a, a lap yeah, dance. Yeah, yeah. I go, like, what what do I do? I, do I where to put my hands? And they think you're like a, a newbie, right? And then uh this girl was again super cool with me. Like we were chatting, obviously, like in between, like before the first yeah. song. And then I was making her laugh, and she was liking it and stuff. And she goes, "You know, you can, you can like play with my tits and just try not to, you know, um, you know, pinch them." And then I, uh, I was like two or three dances in, I pinched them, getting excited, and then she slapped me. Okay, right. slapped me. Yeah. And then I just instantly, on instinct. <laughs> Reached out and choked her and then stopped. Okay? And then she sat there and started fingering herself until she came. This is 100% real. So she liked the choke. She loved the choke. And then she pulls out her fingers and shows me like a spider webs. Like it was all sticky and strong. Uh, Like a web slinger. Yeah. No one believes me. This really happened. I didn't know the girl from before at all. And then I was just like. "Uh, uh, What town? Branford. Oh, yeah. Brown town. Branford. Yeah. <laughs> Seductions. Like, yeah. The one, the gentleman's club. Yeah. Yeah. So the one yeah, man. She was lovely. Or the train station one. Yeah. Right next to the train station. Yeah. yeah. Lovelies. When, when, when <laughs> but that- yeah, can you believe that? She just like, I was freaking out in my head. I'm like, I'm going to get punched in the head by a bouncer that walks by. But like, she got super into it and like, no one believes me. She did that. I'm like, I'm not lying about this story, man. She fucking fingered herself until she came and then pulled out her fingers like this. And it was like spider webs, like in between her fingers. Mm-hmm. And then I gave her the fucking 80 bucks or whatever it was. <laughs> and yeah, she was hot. I don't know. She just really liked the talk. And then like, just the way I was just like, I don't know. It was, it was, yeah. It's a real lucky experience. Crazy. It's one of those things that's probably just got a good time. She yeah. really just wanted to bust a nut. And now that you, you say vi- viscous. Yeah. I mean, she was ready. To have a baby. Yeah. She's ready. She was horny. That's probably why she was a little hornier than normal, mm-hmm. too, because she was ovulating. I know they get off, they're fine with getting off on you sometimes. Because <laughs> they always, say, yeah, they, I, know, I know a lot of strippers, and uh, they say, yeah, sometimes we use you guys to get off, and we get money, too. Mm-hmm. Like, right. you know, like grind you until they come. Yeah. yeah. Well, you figure if you were a stripper, mm-hmm. and uh, girls enjoyed you rubbing against them, mm-hmm. Sometimes you jizz all over them. (laughs) (laughs) Sometimes. You mean every time? (laughs) Yeah. Like you watch those uh, in porno, they have like those, that category. It's like, or like dancing bear or something. You ever see dancing bear on porno? Yeah, I've seen it. It's like, uh, it's like the girls are all dressed and like a stripper guy comes over and then all these like, like they're like, uh, they pretend to be like normal girls that are not taking their clothes off. Oh, just like office girls that are going out for a night and they're all like sucking the guy's dick and stuff. That's the fetish, I guess, that you think that, like, it's... There There are real ones where the girl's life is destroyed when that's released. Oh, really? Yeah. I know, I, I know they're mostly fake, but... I know one of the places I worked, there was... Uh, we were doing a training thing, mm-hmm. and we're all at this training thing, and the one girl, it was her birthday, one of the support yeah. staff, and then they all uh, hired a stripper, mm-hmm. all the girls did. And then they had this evening, and then nobody would say what happened. Nobody yeah, because they sucked. Yeah, and yeah, they all. And so, like, if they were to say what happened, then we would mm-hmm. think we would like believe whatever they said. But the fact that they said they wouldn't say what happened, mm-hmm. something happened. Then you, then everyone filled in the blanks or expected the worst. Like somebody at least blew the guy. I know right? one male stripper I went to high school with became a male stripper. That happens all the time. That they do the towel thing, and then the girl disappears. And then they like you know they do it all the time. They'll fuck them, and yeah. get sucked like, mm. and they just stay hard. These guys are amazing. <laughs> like, how do you stay hard after Viagra. coming? Yeah, a lot of it is Viagra. It used to be like the fucking tie your cock with a big rubber band. Yeah, big uh, rubber oh yeah, band. Like a cock yeah. ring or cock ring, but rubber band like really keep it there. Just to tie it off the base. Just but with Viagra, you could come and still be hard, and then come again. 
I never had Viagra. Neither have I. Have you ever Cialis? I had, I tried Cialis. I rip off Cialis one time. Twice. Oh, on two times. And did, was it good? I keep hearing it's amazing. The Cialis, uh, the first time I, like, I, got, I got these two pills from a mm-hmm. guy. And uh, the first one I took was awesome. Mm-hmm. It was uh, awesome. It was just like I was a fucking teenager. And, uh, yeah, you'd finish and mm-hmm. you, you were ready to go again. Like, it was, like, right ready to go mm-hmm. again. You could have done it forever, as many times as you wanted. It mm-hmm. was just at your – it the best. It was the best. And I was like, I love these things. Get yeah. me as many as you can, right? And then, uh, and then I saved one for a trip to Vegas one time. Mm-hmm. And it wore off. The potency had worn off. It oh, it was for so long. I, I, had a buddy, so long. I had a buddy uh, that every time we'd get in trouble at work – this is like roofing. He'd bring a bag of Viagra and give it to our boss and never get in trouble. Like the bribe. <laughs> yeah. It was like crazy. I remember, oh, like, thanks, man. And give him this baggie of like 20 blue pills. I think that'd be a good sponsor for your show. Viagra. I try to get those blue chews or whatever, yeah. but they don't do this the Canada. Canada. All they do in Canada. I <laughs> know, because we need to like have a doctor give us a prescription and shit to, so yeah. we can get a heart on I'm like, can't I just like prescribe it to myself and take the chance of the heart attack? Because mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck. I'm you, banging. Yeah. You're gonna die fucking. That's a good way to. Yeah, die. with yeah. a big hard dick. The problem is that fucking someone else, you get caught. What? Like you know. Oh, you, I won't. I'll just bang my one. wife. Yeah, that's boring. Of course you need Viagra. <laughs> of course you need Viagra. Bang your wife. Everyone needs Viagra. Bang their own wife. But if you bang my wife, you need a mask. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, condom. no, but no condom, just a mask. <laughs> no, why would I care about condom? I don't. Know. I wouldn't mind raising your baby. <laughs> I'd raise your baby. I can't have babies anymore. They oh, you got me. you got fixed. Yeah. <laughs> That's oh fix. shit! Well, what happened? Oh, something happened with our feed here. Uh-oh. I'm just gonna get it a quick fix. They just took a clip of me and they're sending it to my wife about this. <laughs> this is, I, and you know what? I hope I get caught about that story because my wife thinks I've gone to strip clubs for my whole life and have never had a just lap Just playing dance. pool? And not had a lap dance. You're just there playing pool. What's wrong with you, lady? Wake up. I've had strip, I've had lap dances. They're fun. Yeah, I remember one time I told. Where do you think the $100 went that I had? Expensive <laughs> drinks. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like uh, lap dances, though. I don't like anything about it. I like giving buying a lap dance for my friend. Uh, if it, with a really ugly girl, <laughs> to like, da- oh, an ugly stripper. Yeah, that's mean, man. Why to the stripper? Like Why it, she's getting paid? Yeah, but it's, it's, the other guy doesn't the say like this is, is gross. The intention's wrong. They don't know. You're not saying to them when you hire yeah. them. Don't like, you hey, feel I'm guilty? Hu- They're people, man. No. <laughs> Why? Why? I don't. Know. I, I don't You're giving that. them business. They're getting everything That's, they want. I feel a lap dance should be an intimate thing between you and a lady, <laughs> and then the next lady. And the <laughs> yeah, next and the guy. next lady. The next I think there's. I don't think it takes away from how special something is if it's done multiple times. I, like, pref- I think a connection is a connection, regardless if the girls are like you're. If I'm a whore, like a guy whore, is it less special that I connected with like twenty girls or one girl? Like that's still special. Maybe it's because I grew up in Simcoe, where uh, then well, there's only three girls. Cut my ways. teeth where the Simcoe sh- and the mm. Simcoe strip clubs, when there were used to be three, I think at one time. A little tough though. Um, but uh, yeah, they're also the farm. I lines. think a strip cl- <laughs> a strip club should be mostly freak show. Yeah, dirty. I think it it needs like, to be. I dirty. I want to see bullet wounds. Yes, I want to see pregnancies, prolapsed. Rectums. No, prol- no, how, <laughs> no, that's I, gross. I want to see things that I don't get to see every day. I want to go in there and say, you wouldn't believe what the fuck I just saw. Yeah. I want to go in there and feel like I need to clean myself when I leave. You wipe your feet on the way out. Yeah, I like to feel... I, it, strip clubs and pool hall should always be dirty. It's like Nikki's Roadhouse. Yeah. Oh, have you been to Nikki's Roadhouse? No. Oh, dude, you, you, wipe you your feet would love on the it there. The door. Yeah, I love that dirt because there's certain places. Need it's the to worst be gross. place ever. It's the middle need, of the country. They should be gross. It it's is not. Very don't gross. fucking uh, uh, gentrify everything. Like you know, no, I, mean? I know. It should be gross. I remember when I went to Vegas one time. I'm in the cab uh, from the airport, and I asked the cab driver. I'm like, "What is, um, uh, you know, what's a good." bar like a local mm. bar not a tourist bar but a local bar and he told me this one name of a bar and i go oh i heard of that i heard mm. it's a real dive bar he goes it's not a dive bar it's a toilet is what <laughs> <I said>. and <laughs> he, go, he goes but it's the most fun place on yeah. earth and i go we gotta go we gotta go mm. you know 
And I was with my wife and uh, like her optometrist friend and her mm-hmm. husband. Well, they were real nerds. They were not looking for a shithole that's going to be yeah. super fun. That's going to be gross, and you can't mm-hmm. really go to the bathroom there and stuff. And but I'm like, I'm like, that's the only place I wanted to go. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't want to go to anywhere nice. I wanted to go to the place where everyone was having fun. You know? Like, yeah, that's like I, you're gonna. I'm not gonna go to a shitty McDonald's. I want to go to a good McDonald's. That's different than fucking. You know, like a restaurant. <laughs> like there's shitty restaurants. That sh- there should be no such thing as a shitty restaurant. I get greasy spoon diners, but not like I wanted to actually be clean. The table's not greasy, yeah. but at a bar, yeah, I want grease. I want dirt. I want like that guy's fucking selling me like a ladder he found in the back of a truck. You know what I mean? I want like the strippers to be doing blow in the in the bathroom. Did you go, Pete? To what? To, to the shitty bar. No, we didn't go to the shitty bar because they're all like they all wanted nice things. And Pete does what his wife says. Yeah, typical Pete. Yeah, exactly. typical Pete, controlled by the pussy. Yeah, some of us <laughs> control the pussy. We're called real men. Am I right, boys? <laughs> Am I right? My wife said, "Don't leave, honey. I love you. Stay here. Don't podcast with your friends." I said, "Fuck you. You're a lady. I'm a man." And I left. Really? Yeah. And I said, and I, I called my son downstairs. I go, listen to this. I go, fuck you. I'm a man. And I left. And he just oh, nodded he teaches at me. them. Yeah. You te- you're teaching them. Yeah, he nodded. He almost hit her too. I was like, not yet. See, I'm. I have two. <laughs> I, I have two daughters. I have two daughters. Ah, uh, you're controlled by so many women. I'm. I'm. So I'm teaching them mm-hmm. to I, fucking control men. Why? Because they're. I want them to win. You want women to win? I want my daughters, my kids to win. Listen, the if real enemy boys, is a woman. No, the I, real enemy is a woman. I'm team woman because I have two oh daughters. Because you have tits. I have two daughters. I don't. I don't have a, a dog in the in the fight. Yeah, anymore. you do. You have a dog in the fight. It's me? in between your legs. But uh, who cares about me? And like, your brothers. The next generation of me is women, and so I vote Gross. for women now. Gross. Yeah. I'm a real feminist. You're a real feminist. Makes me sick. <laughs> yeah. The real enemy isn't Democrats versus Republicans or climate change I'm or, or communism. It's fucking women, bro. They're disgusting and they should be done. We oh. should, you know, I love the advances we've made with transgendered because we're almost done with these fucking psychos and it's just going to be us boys. I'll tell you right us now. Us boys, dicks and, and tits and, and just regular guys. I, can, I feel like I can say this because mm. some of my best friends are men. Yeah. But men are a bunch of jerks. Oh, my God. You're so sensitive. <laughs> and I think you have too much estrogen <laughs> on you. I want to say. I think your energy, your drinks are spiked with estrogen. Well, I just, okay. I sorry. Sorry. Finish I don't really thought. care, though. Cause See how you just let me take over? You know why? You always you always bend over and give your thighs up to the women. That's what happens. You surrender yourself. Uh, I let you take over because for six years mm-hmm. um, or whatever we had you here yeah. for. There's always been a circus, and mm-hmm. you say, "Why do you have me come down for an hour yeah. and not let me talk?" Yeah, it right? is weird. It is strange. And then I'm like, "Okay, well, this." Then the last time, actually, the fans didn't hate you as much because yeah, I talked more. We let you. We let you talk, and now they're gonna. You didn't have again. to fight. You, you didn't have to fight for it. That yeah. woman de- demographic that you fought yeah. for is yeah. gone. Yeah, now. they're all. They all. They well, all. they could follow me at the Angry Skeptic and listen to my podcast, <laughs> which I host. With oh a yes, woman. please I uh, host with a woman. Yeah, go home, Joe. Go home, Joe with a woman. Is she a, the karate girl? Yeah. She's, yeah, Sherry. Yeah, yeah, Sherry. Mo Thai? Mo Thai? That show's been going on a while now. It has girl. been, yeah. yeah. Two years. Good for you. Solid and you still years. do that other one? The Cupid uh, one? Stupid Cupid's with, the, with uh, AJ and Moses? No, yeah. we don't. Moses walked away from that one. You don't have any guests on your shows ever, do you? Um, almost never, yeah. Yeah. Because you, you would invite me on the show, would, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would, I would. I mean, when are you in Brantford? We record in her house. Brantford? I fucking live in Brantford, man. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking... I'm having I that. only go to Brantford for, for Sherry, my co- my friend and co Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, they said... I don't, I'm not even going to go for comedy I went to high anymore. school there in Brantford. Of course. Well, where would you go here? In a tobacco field? Well, they didn't have a Catholic high school here. here. I, had to go to, <laughs> I had to go to a Catholic high school, oh, so okay. it turned out good. I, I went, went to Catholic high school and I turned out real bad. I went yeah. to the public, not so good. Yeah, yeah. Kevin went to Catholic grade school and then public high school. And then well, he, I I was an employee of a public high uh, public school and that I they're the same thing, man. What are you talking about? Like public and Catholics, the same shit. But they both suck. What? They, they both suck <laughs> equally. One just has to shove more religion in. They both have to teach you the same amount of stuff, and then they just. Shove I'm pretty religion. sure that They're I get to go same. to heaven. I'm pretty sure I get to go to heaven. I, pff, there's no heaven. 
Dude, they you, told me for fucking sure that there was one. You know why the they kindergarten why? to grade thirteen? <laughs> you know yeah. there's seven? Do you think there's seven? What? Do you, are you, wait, we talked about this. I don't know if it was on air, or off air. I can't remember now. <laughs> but do you? Are you a Catholic? No, I'm a fallen Catholic. A fallen Catholic? You yeah. can't even say atheist. Are you? An I'm atheist? not an atheist. I'm so, not an atheist at all. I, an atheist would suggest that you know something. I do not know anything. I do no, not profess to have any. No, it's just not. You believing. can't say there's nothing. You can't. Yeah, I can't can. say there's nothing. Yeah, I can. There's nothing. Why? Because nothing's shown up to to show me. There's no evidence there is something. What? After you die, where's the evidence that there's something after you die? Well, I look at it this way: if every like, there's a finite amount of things in the universe, mm-hmm. right? So, like, except for heaven, because it's forever, right? Well, I'm not saying heaven's a a, a, a construct yeah. or a concept. I'm not saying I believe in heaven, but okay. I'm talking God now. Okay, okay, God, the concept of God or whatever. Like, um, but if you say that the universe has got so many, so many things, like everything exists, right? Mm. Like, so like there's like a finite amount of everything in the universe, right? So like, um, if for example, like, um, like, a let's just say like, a, an apple, mm. you know, it's like mostly like water and carbon and all that stuff. So when the apple rots, it becomes like dirt or whatever, mm. but you can still trace that that apple turn into whatever or you mm. eat it it becomes shit or whatever you know mm. but something always ends up you can track it it goes to something else well, energy is supposed to have ne- you never destroy energy or something i forget what it is but. right so like there's a certain amount of you that is your body your physical mm. form there's a certain amount of you that is your brain but then there's a certain amount of you that's just this like energy that's like yeah, that's a part i don't separate see. from you yeah. But you don't think you don't think that the energy? That, no, Con- you're saying consciousness is energy. You, do you think you're your brain? Yeah, you are your brain. You but are you're not you your see. brain. So what I am I? Well, your brain is a function like your arm. Like you, you, yeah. you can know when your brain's malfunctioning and say like it's not working. Mm-hmm. And then who's saying that? So it's not so, you. So if you're brain dead, you're you're still something. You're saying. No, I'm saying that the conscious. You're talking about consciousness. Consciousness. Yeah. Con- which is which is a byproduct of a working brain. A functioning brain produces consciousness. It's, a human brain, as far as we know. I don't know if like well, a I'm dolphin sure. has consciousness. Uh, yeah, like uh, I don't know if uh, there's my degree any- in roofing was is about to be. Because you can you can uh, like, you can think with your gut, right? You can think of your gut, not your brain. Well, your supposedly your gut. A lot of decisions are made from the from, your from gut. the germs in your gut. Yeah. They say your memory exists in your heart. Some people think your huh? memory exists in your heart, hmm. not hmm. even in your brain at all. It could be. There's so I mean, we so know. we're a, a giant living organism that stores information and in and there is something that makes you you mm-hmm. that like over the years you've you've grown from a child mm-hmm. you've become multiple different forms you've uh changed your opinion on things mm-hmm. as you've grown and but it, through all of that there's been a constant that's been the you but that doesn't prove god that just proves there's something there no no that's what and, i'm saying yeah so like it, it when you're dead mm-hmm. you know your body can die you know you're yeah, but but this intangible, mm-hmm. you can't you can't show what happens to it. You cannot prove it either way. What happens to well, it? Well, I I mean the way I've I've always thought it was it was like computer memory. It's just stored in our brain. But if our brain disappears, doesn't whatever that's one theory. In our brain. So if all our if this if my memories are in my heart, if my heart explodes. And what happens? What about people? People with pacemakers? Or do they have no memories? Did Dick Cheney lose all of his memories? Pacemaker just keeps your heart going. Oh, well, how about the heart transplant? Is, doesn't Dick Cheney have like a whole other thing? Well, if you get like a pig's heart. Yeah, 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 yeah. So know. you have a pig's heart. Do I forget my wife's name? That would be cool. Yeah, I don't know. Be like, I, or maybe, do I just call her fat fuck? I just say I just <laughs> threw that. I, I I also am not a I have no degree or knowledge of real things. What do you mean? You're a fucking two time winner of uh, oh, yeah, two time presidents. Two time, <laughs> two time. I don't think I even introduced myself for the show. Didn't. No, I mean, uh, I'm sure. I hope they know who you are if they're listening. Pete Van Dyke. Hey, everyone, all my listeners. Thank you, thank you. guys. Uh, welcome to the show. This is Joe Patello's uh, go <laughs> go to the Dutch Hall. <laughs> Anyways, I have to talk about where I'm going to go in the world. Oh, yeah. Eventually. So when – so you're uh, only going because your wife said go. No. Oh. It, uh, I, 
I said to you in an email that she gave me the green It wasn't light, an email. It was a Facebook messenger. A messenger yeah. post DM. As if we would email each I other. I slipped into your DMs. I, Joe. I hope we would never Joe. email each other because that means we're not really friends. Oh, really? Emails? Dear Joe. Dear Joe. To whom I concern. Comma. Comma. No, I just said it that way. To be honest, I can do whatever I want. Yeah. And I know I'm getting a little restless around mm. here. I've been around here for too long. Mm. My kids are going away to university. Yeah, empty nest. So what happens in the Indian, like the with the Indian cultures? That whoa, means whoa. that means you've uh, Indian or I'm Aboriginal. talking about Indian. Okay, don't offend me. I'm part native. In the caste system, for example, I, my wife's native, so I consider myself native. Like part of you goes into a native. That's how this native spirituality works. Yeah, as I consumed her so many times, I've become part of her. <laughs> well, I have. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. So sorry, sorry, keep on interrupting. So you are allowed to do whatever you want. Yeah, I'm just like fucking going stir crazy. My kids are gone, and yeah. and so I've I've uh I've fulfilled my obligation to society mm-hmm. as the in the caste system. For example, they have this thing you you like fulfill your obligations mm-hmm. to society. You teach the next generation how yeah. they can fulfill their obligations to society, and then when you've done all the things you have to do, you do this thing called vana prasta. And you go into the forest. Then the Bap the Gita or whatever the fuck it's called. You go into the forest and you just uh, stay silent and find yourself. You know, that sounds you stupid. walk around and that you sounds... don't even think in words anymore. You start. You... That sounds dumb. And it doesn't sound. That dumb. sounds fucking dumb. Yeah, <laughs> not gonna lie, that sounds. And then you stupid. realize, Joe, that you know what? What? We're all God. We're all God Ooh. together. <laughs> Oh, is that the one with the yeah. with the eight arms? Is that who we are? No, we're oh, all... that's Ganesh. Oh, Ganesh. Oh, Ganesh. No. Baba Ganesh. Baba Ganesh. <laughs> this is brother. Uh, no, I don't know that. So, much. are you going to go to the forest? No, I'm you, saying you uh, live in a forest. So, Vanna Pro- so I'm doing metaphorically going into the forest. Vanna the Vanna forest Jack is process. the world. I can go anywhere mm. in the world, do anything in the world, mm. do anything in the world for any like anywhere. And I can go as long as I want. Mm-hmm. I go by myself. Do whatever like I want. Like Ramshimshimshkum? There, there's no... Ramshimshimshkum? There's no rules. There's no... So, so because there's no... Nothing, like, uh, guiding me at all. Mm-hmm. Like, there's no restrictions. And I can do anything I want. Mm-hmm. It's too much. It's too many. It's too open. Yeah. It's You're overwhelmed not, with the freedom. Overwhelmed with... with uh, freedom. With the freedom, yeah. So I need it to be more uh, scaled down. So that's why I needed to get so Kevin need and oh. Joe. Oh. I needed you guys to try to like give me ideas in the world to narrow mm. it down at what part of the world I should be looking at. Mm. You know. So I think I'm thinking. <laughs> hmm. So like, if you were given the opportunity to yeah. go anywhere in the world you wanted to go, for by yourself though, you're not going with anyone. You're going by yourself. Yeah. To do whatever you want. Yeah. For as long as you need to do it. Hmm. Where do you go? Thailand. And and uh, obviously, <laughs> do I need to ask the no, second I question? I think everyone knows I'm going to do Thailand. You're banging boys. Lady <laughs> boys who are of age uh, in oh. this country, not their country, because there's no limit in that country. Oh, so you're going for like. I'll go and be like, Canadian hey, how old laws. are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My moral code of. But like, they have to be like of. The, a a, a yeah. suitable Canadian age, and they have to have a penis and still look feminine. Yeah, lady boy. Yeah. Okay. It has to be my because I can't. Well, it's not selling it for me. It's not. No, sell- but okay, and then yeah, okay, but like think about this: no rules. You've never done that before, have you? What fucked a lady boy? I never had the, uh, the admission. To yeah, do. but you've never had a chance to think about it because you've been too busy in the caste society. Well, let me say. Let me Raising think. Let children. me let me just think about it for a second. And you love women. You're a feminist, so this yeah. helps you to get in touch with someone who's more of a feminist than you, a lady boy, who chose to be a lady. <laughs> they chose to be a lady. They were. You're raising ladies. They're not ladies. That's though. one lady step boy. before being a lady boy, which means like I was born a boy, but I'm a lady, which is the ultimate feminist. No. Uh, I'm just saying how it is, but if you want to no, go against the LGBTQ I, I, community, that's up to you, man. I don't, I don't, I'm not saying that's the most <laughs> feminine that there is, is a, is a person with a dick. The most know. woman, the most woman, the highest level of woman is a lady boy. Mm. Because you chose that. You chose to be that. But culturally, it's just because you can make money in prostitution no, as a woman. Don't you dare. It's not don't because. You dare. You, what? Don't you dare do that. 
You know, don't I, be afraid of the truth. I don't like. I'm not into <laughs> prostitution, but to be honest with you, the I'm whole not, idea of it. Makes I fall me, in one. The whole idea makes me nervous of prostitution. Yeah, but I don't you like said it. there's no rules. I don't like strippers either. I don't like the whole thing. It makes me nervous. Did your wife say no rules, or did she she just say go anywhere you no, want? No, she didn't say no rules. She said well, go anywhere you want. Mm-hmm. She didn't say no rules. I'm still going to be married. I'm still going to want to be true to my wife. Is she going to follow those rules when you're away, though? It, uh, my wife is going oh. to be... Uh, uh, most likely she will. Do you want me to move in and keep an eye on her? She's a very... I think she'll be okay. <laughs> my wife Do you want to give me access codes to your cameras installed in your house so I can keep an eye on her? Uh, no, I would, no, I, I don't want to talk about it. Uh, <laughs> <I don't> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay, so not Thailand. I would say no to Thailand because that's not what I don't think that's the major draw. What are you looking for, Pete? He's done Europe. Right? But Pete, what are you looking for? You've done Europe. This is what really what it is. Australia. What are you looking for? Okay, well I got to tell you. adventure. I want adventure, like adventure, like old school fucking dirty hands adventure. Might fucking lose my life adventure. Listen, I'll tell you everything that I do. I want to make it so that I can be. I can. It'll. It'll be make me better at telling jokes, right? So yeah, but that's just being around people. But uh, you got to have stories to tell, so you mm-hmm. got to live something. So See, that's I'm, where adventure comes in. That's what Pete thinks. I'm a comedic genius. It just comes to me, so I don't need to go anywhere else because I don't, find it. If you don't observe me. anything, or or if you don't like live mm-hmm. anything, then there's nothing to. To yeah, but, talk about. but you're searching for something. Do you even know what you're searching for? So do you want adventure? Then you got to go somewhere like fucking I'm not, I'm the dark s- continent of I'm not, Africa. I, I'm not really searching. I I only want experiences. I want to like have something happen in my life. So then Nothing's go somewhere happened. safe. Go somewhere safe. Like first world country, right? For adventure? Well, you said you're not looking... I, I, I just said I, I'm looking for... Mm-hmm. Stories. Stories, yeah. So the first world doesn't matter. I mean, I don't yeah, think they're going to have more. Yeah, but then you're going to be safe, though. You're okay. Go but some... I'm going by myself, so I don't need to be safe. You go hang out with some aborigines. Yeah, in, in Australia. I could do Australia. Yeah, but you're going to gonna do, though? stay in Sydney. or I mean, right now it's locked the fuck no, down. Oh, the aborigines. Yeah. Go out in the... Yeah, go get fucking Eat murdered. And... Go get murdered by them, because I'm sure they love white people. Hey, we're, uh, <laughs> we're numbered like nine on the Philippines chart. What about the Philippines? Yeah, Philippines is fun. There's like there's real cities there. Is that the guy that doesn't let you ha- like if you smoke dope or something like that? There's probably you. no drugs there. Yeah, you no know, drugs. Or you get murdered for it? Yeah, or you get murdered. I don't. I think you need to stay first world. First world. I think you need to go somewhere. There's a hospital where there's police. What about like so? Then we got Japan. Japan's not bad. Japan's way better. What about than- Scandinavia? That's that would be that's a good place. Yeah, Scandinavia. That's adventure. Eat blubber, like a hot blondes. Nice hot bath. Norway. Yeah, Norway. Ice treks. Li- 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 lithium. No, what's you lithium? can still tell jokes there too. Yeah, they understand in English. Well, I was thinking about going to try to find the best comedy scene in the world. Just do like a web series. That'd be New York, wouldn't it? Yeah, but you do New York, but I'd do them all. Is what I mean. You, mm-hmm. if, cause like go, it, yeah, go through Europe. So then you can go like. Why don't you go to Afghanistan? Well, right now I'd have to go wherever they'd let us in, Where'd right? Yeah. Check I wouldn't want to go to a war yeah, zone. I'm not going to any of those places. Yeah, I don't want to go to any kind of war zone. Uh, I, I'm not interested in that. I think I could go. I mean, I really, really want to go to Japan for real. But I only want to go with my with my son. But I've wanted to go oh, yeah? to Japan my whole life. And my Why, son is he a big into, anime fan? Yeah, my son's gotten super into anime. Yeah. But I've been like a Japan, Japanese nerd my whole life, like samurais and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. And so I'm like, I would love to go there, Power Rangers and everything. Everybody so, that goes loves it. Yeah, it'd be amazing. I'd love to spend a chunk of time there. But I could get high quality ladyboys there and not be worried about being murdered in Japan because Japan is like fucking high class, high tech society and they they like sick sexual stuff yeah you can get like, so i would have a good time there but you that get means like i have to go with panties out of a vending machine they don't do that anymore they did that for a bit they don't do that anymore no but you can still do sick like sex stuff there oh yeah it'd be fun but again i wouldn't be able to do any of that stuff with my boy unless i'm divorced but even then that's not cool to do with your kid like let's go get a hooker and they're like oh dad you just literally got divorced before we left i'm like oh sorry 
for the trip, so I can yeah, get hookers. Trip, let's get hookers. Don't you, what don't you understand? No, I would have so much fun. <laughs> I think I, I wouldn't have as much fun without him there. So I don't get going by yourself, though. Why? You wouldn't travel by yourself? No. I don't care about places. I care about the people. Like I, I wouldn't, Yeah, but uh, you're going to meet people. I don't care about strangers. What you, you, what, what, you, you're going to go travel. Yeah. And you're going to just communicate with people you already know? No, but like experiencing it with people I know is to me is way more fun than uh, being by myself. Perhaps. I mean, I would I would I wouldn't be I would probably have fun traveling mm-hmm. with somebody as long as I didn't have to care about them. Like you know what I'm, I mean? Yeah, if I'm going by myself, I'm only going by myself traveling if it's like I got this date here and this date there and I got, you know, or I'm going away for like um like a conference, right? And yeah. you're going somewhere cool, but you have you to know what yourself. you're gonna do. You know what you're gonna do, anyways. But you're still gonna do fun shit. But you're gonna be alone. But I mean, if I get to pick, like, oh, I'm gonna go to Japan. I'm like, I'm going with my kid for sure. Or anywhere like Europe. If I have to go tour somewhere, I'm gonna take a friend. Like it's so much more fun. Yeah, I don't know. I traveled by myself when I was in '95. That's just me. I don't. I traveled by myself a little bit in '95 mm-hmm. when I and I traveled with friends too. Um, but I, the times I travel by myself, I gotta tell you, it, it is like, you do feel pure freedom. Mm-hmm. Like you don't have to worry about anybody, especially after like lugging around your family for so long Yeah, on every single trip, you know, like you're like, uh, yeah, but a friend going with friends and the same as going with family. I know that I travel with charters too. Sometimes mm-hmm. so he's a good travel companion, but I do not give a fuck about him. Like, and he does not give a fuck yeah, about which me. Which is the perfect travel partner. Yeah. That's what yeah. you want. You want a guy that's like, Hey, if I get separated from yeah. you, like we're just separated. Like, or like I want to go here and. Okay, I don't want. I'll stay in the hotel today. I don't give a fuck. Like, yeah, like I, like, some, he's not gonna get mad. He yeah. says I'm doing this, and I'm like, oh, I don't give yeah. a fuck. I'm yeah. not doing that. You know, perfect. like that's that's perfect. Like she has an ugly friend, and you're like, oh, I guess I'll fuck her. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, it's like we all do what we gotta do. Man. <laughs> yeah, you gotta survive, man. No, so like I, uh, I see the benefit in it, but I think, um, I think it's just a. I think uh, I got. You're right. I got to figure out what I want. First. Like why? Yeah. Why? Just because you're antsy, you could just fucking literally go. No, I got to Calgary. There, there is nothing somewhere. here. There's nothing. Yeah, here. but you're so in your mind. You already have something. You mean nothing here? There's nothing in here in this whole country. There's fucking nothing. Which is like I disagree with. But you're saying that that means there's nothing here that you want. So no. what do you want? You know, you don't want Canada. Yeah. So, like, this is like the introspectiveness comes in now. The forest time. Yeah. Like, like all I know, I, I, I do the research on like like Canada, like this Norfolk County where we where I live mm. is like the best place for a zombie apocalypse in the world. It's been proven many times. And okay, uh, reality though, but because you're given and so like I know this is a good place that we live. I know Canada is a good mm-hmm. country, but like for comedy and stuff, there's no industry. Yeah, but you're not. Are you that where you're looking for then to go away for well, comedy? Well, I'm not. I, I, of course, I'm thinking of it. Like I'm, I'm not. Yeah, but this sounds like it's something more deep than comedy. Why? I don't know. It just sounds like it's so deep. Like, I definitely want it to be related to comedy, hundred percent. Yeah. So then, I, so then I, all I, these weird places are off the table. Why? So unless you can do comedy there. You're gonna do comedy in Pakistan? Like I never said I was gonna go. Pakistan. No, but like, so those places, like those like weird places, aren't. Yeah, I don't want to go to those shit places. But I wouldn't want to go even if I was going. Like some, Russia, like, I'd go to Russia. Why Russia? I don't know. I like Russians. I like Russia. They scare the fuck out of me. But I'd go. That country seems absolutely. Oh yeah, bleak bad shit place crazy. In the world. I don't want. I would never want. I there. would love to go to Moscow and some of those places just to uh, see it. Different kind of crazy. Yeah, it's uh, just crazy. I love it. I'd just be like, but like, kind of like stay in like safer places as safe as you can be in uh we're both south america i would go no because south america is dangerous brazil maybe we're like chile or uruguay yeah they speak portuguese but still those places are super dangerous i don't want to brazil is a is like so corrupt especially now with that fucking balazero whatever the fuck his name is he's i wouldn't go there i wouldn't go there i'd go to just poor europe i'll go anywhere in europe it'd be fun peru is that, no, that's not no, Europe. That's South America. America. I'm yeah. still trying. Are you to, testing me? I'm trying. Do to you want to go to South America? I'm, I'm, no, I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. Colombia. We said Colombia. We, we Africa. Like no, no. I mean, I would. I would. There is not a part of me that ever wants to go to Africa. Iceland. I feel Iceland's, like Scandinavian places would be a good place for you. Iceland will, and they're really easy to travel to as well. And they're super friendly. And you can do tons of sets there. Yeah. So you want to just go do comedy then? So now you know what you want to do. You want to do comedy somewhere else? Yeah. So that narrows down. How happy would they be to see people there too? 
They'd be like, he is our king. Oh, wouldn't that be great? The Canadian king. The of king Canada. of Iceland. Yeah. That's, That's the other happened. thing. If you go to if you go to the states, for example, mm. no one cares you're Canadian. <laughs> no one cares you're Canadian. You're yeah. just like a shitty American, like uh, with that talks a little funny. Yeah, you're a no frills version of a. But if you go to Europe and you're Canadian, mm-hmm. you're exotic. You're yeah. like alluring. Look at that yeah. Jennifer uh, or that. Um, What's her name? The girl, the Canadian girl that's like super big in England. She's oh. on the Duchess. Um, oh, shit. Blonde what? girl. She got a Netflix special. I got to I gotta look into Oh, her. no. Uh, K- Katie, Ro- Catherine Ryan. I don't know her. You don't know her? No. It's, it's a chick comic. So she was like a, a Canadian her. comic that went over to <laughs> England and then she's got to be a big star Listen, there. I don't care if people hate that, but I just don't care. It's Who's funnier than Kathy Ryan? <laughs> Ryan. Who's, is she really funny? Uh, oh, any guy <laughs> call back. I, I don't. I don't know. She, she's not my. But I. I can. I keep getting told this. Like my parents are Portuguese. Uh, Ew. Portuguese citizens, right? Oh. And uh, and I, I agree with you, man. <laughs> I haven't seen my parents like in over a year, so. Okay. Um. And they live like five minutes away from me. Um. But I would definitely use being port like them being Portuguese and me to go get. I can get like a some sort of work EU visa. passport. Yeah, I can get something like that and literally spend as much time as I want in Portugal slash EU. Yeah, you get do, if you get an EU an yeah. EU passport, you can work anywhere there. So I mean, I have to look into it. I want to. I want to do that. I know I don't even have a regular passport. I haven't because I'm like I'm like you. I love Canada. Well, I mean, I don't know if you love Canada, but I love being here. And I, I raised a family real early, so yeah. I never had an intention of leaving. But now it's like. I just want to go out and do comedy. But that's the only reason why I want to travel. I don't want to travel because I want to see the mountains of fucking Peru or something. Yeah. I'd run, I want to do comedy in front of all these weird different crowds. Yeah, like that, like, that would be the number like one thing. Like or something. Like, you know. Yeah, like if I could go to like Machu Picchu or yeah. play a club in mm. in like um, Stockholm. Yeah. I would play the club in Stockholm. Yeah, Stockholm, all yeah. those. And li- anywhere like, you know, first world for sure. Yeah. Like, would you do one of those uh, USO tours? Yeah, 100%. That'd be so cool. Just a bunch of soldiers. I should. I, I keep hoping that Ryan, my brother-in-law, does mm-hmm. them, eh? Cause he, does he? Yeah, he, he goes and plays ball hockey. He's gone over to For Afghanistan them? a bunch of times. It used to be Bob Probert that that would set it up. Oh, the ho- oh that's one of those names I know. Bob, <laughs> it's a hockey player. Yeah, Bob Probert. And then uh, and he set up ball hockey thing, and my, and my brother-in-law was mm-hmm. roommates with Bob Probert, and he would go over all the time and play. Yeah, I don't and, know uh, any comics that do that though. Any ones that we would know. Tom Green did one time with him. Okay. You know, well, I'm not friends with Tom Green, so I don't know. No, but uh, he. Uh, um, <laughs> I mean, like comics we. Yeah, I, comics that we work with. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we, but I'm hoping that. With. Yeah, that I don't know any either. Yeah. It's always he always says there's comics, but then I ask who they are and I don't yeah. recognize them. But I would uh, do a cruise ship comedy. Why don't you just go on a cruise? Uh, the, I think uh, because cruises will fucking kill you. Like kill you? Yeah, the the they get. I don't want. You can't get insurance to go on a cruise anymore. Oh no! Not in Canada. Cause you die because of COVID. You know? Oh, because you go on the boat and then you're there's no way no insurance company's gonna give you a travel. Yeah, but you have the. You, if you're vaccinated, what's the matter? I don't know. I think it's. I'm just saying. I don't want to. I think a lot cruise. of murders happen there. A cruise ship? Yeah. There's it's like a rock coat. I don't I everyone I know that's been on a cruise has said, Yeah, someone died. I'm oh, like someone got pushed f- over. Well heart attack. Oh. Yeah, yeah. for we get old and rich and Drinking just, just fat, yeah. Yeah. taking Viagra. I'd love to are... like pump like a bunch of fat American wives. <laughs> That'd be fun. Yeah. And have their like husbands watch me. Uh, like, you're, you're so skinny. I'm like, Oh yeah, I am skinny like me. I'm like That's why it'd be awesome if you're a Jamaican guy. Oh, yeah, like, dude. like a Jamaican like, guy works at a resort or something like that. Like according to what the internet shows, every mm-hmm. time a wife goes on vacation, they she's get get... pumped. Yeah, <laughs> I would never let my wife. I mean, I would, but if I if I cared about what my wife was doing, I wouldn't let her go alone. I'm going with the girls to a, uh, Cuba. I'm like, fuck, you're going with the girls to Cuba. Yeah, all those guys working in there just want to fuck you, and you want to fuck them once you get there. Yeah, everyone's not want... fucking me, some gross fucking forty year old. <laughs> You're fucking some young hot fucking Cuban boy. I know how it is. Yeah, every once in a while you see a girl do the same thing as what I'm trying to do, mm. where she goes on vacation by herself, but mm. then she ends up always going to some Caribbean country because yeah, and... it's it's fun, it's safe, and it's like you get fucked by hot guys. 
Yeah, she, they like black dick. That's what they. That's would you let your wife? Are you? How about your wife saying for you to go? Would you care if your wife just went? <laughs> We got. Uh, would I care if my wife went on a vacation yeah. by herself? Or uh, doing this? This doesn't sound like a vacation. It sounds like you're going to be gone for a while. Um. Well, no, I wouldn't. I mean, if uh, I, mean, I, I, I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah. But I, I, I would think no because I would want her to be to do what she wants to do. I'd just be scared of safety. Uh, well, it's it's different considerations when you have a yeah. woman traveling alone. Yeah. Uh, but but like I mean, as far as her pursuing her thing, mm-hmm. she's already doing that. Like she yeah. she wants to work seeing eyeballs, and she wants to do it all the time. And she sees you wanting something else. It's yeah. weird how we always. I know women get this too, so I'm not I'm not making this a gender thing. But a lot of men I know have this. It's just like this un, like nameable, like longing for something. It's just like you could just see it. Like I don't know. There's something you want, and you're like. I don't even know yeah, what this isn't it. Is. App. Yeah, but what is it? Yeah, I don't know. We're for like we're in our forties, and I don't know what it is. I know, but I'm it, like I have what you think is like we both have what we think you're supposed to have: great kids, and and a, and a good life, decent life at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like I just that's the, other the problem, day, though. I think. Do you think that I was thinking about this just coming up here? I'm like, bro, today was a great day. Spent time with my went to a movie with my son. Spent a nice day with my daughter. My wife wasn't fucking mean. Like, we were cool. Yeah. And then I'm coming here to hang out with you. I'm like, yeah, it's a great life. Why the fuck do, is there this nine inside fucking thing that's wanting me to to search for more all the time? Yeah, yeah. Like, why can't I just be content with uh, with what I have? Because there are some days, and they're, they're becoming more and more now that my kids are older, seeing like, yeah, I have I'm my, but what am I doing? Like, yeah. I have everything I people would want like yeah yeah i, I like know your I, daughters too like you're in the same boat as me it's like why what are we looking for no i know I, I think sorry this isn't because, funny but I, I think sometimes because it comes too easy like everything you get everything you want yeah and then you're like uh well then there must then because you get i don't know maybe because i i you know you set these goals for yourself at first mm. you don't know how you're gonna feed yourself or live yeah. or whatever and paycheck then check to paycheck and then you eventually figure it out mm-hmm. and then you're like uh well now what do i do mm-hmm. yeah. and then because i figure that out now then what, there's got to be some other because that was the, your purpose you know mm-hmm. is figuring that shit out and then once the purpose is gone you got to find a new one and then it's got to be something that makes you feel like i don't know maybe it's because you get older and then you just you look for something that makes you feel young again mm-hmm. um yeah there's always that thing that's not like the hardships are i've worked a lot of jobs where i know i'm doing the wrong thing yeah i know i'm doing the wrong thing and then all of a sudden You'll do something like stand up and you just know you're doing the right thing. Like mm-hmm. it just feels good. Like it just doesn't, you're not beating, your, you're not like fighting yourself over it. Where it's the, like, what's the goal of that? Like, why are we doing stand up? That's the other thing. I know this is becoming like some, you yeah, know, the goal. Thing, but like, why are we doing this if we have what most people yeah, yeah. we know want? Yeah, yeah. They want to get to this like area where they can just settle down and enjoy what they mm-hmm. got. And, uh, to me, that's never been. Never yeah. been enough. Because you're used to are doing it for fame. You're doing it because you like going up and telling jokes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no! If I was doing it for fame, I wouldn't be doing what I'm no, doing. No. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's true. Sometimes I think about yeah. this. I do this podcast, and more people will hear this podcast, and this podcast is a permanent record that'll mm. they'll be on the internet forever. And this is something that I don't care about as much as mm. my stand up. Who only the people who come to the club really see that yeah. night's performance because it'll be different the next time mm-hmm. and the and no one really it you can't take any permanency of it away it's just that one moment that you mm-hmm. share with the audience and it's and you don't like I, eventually i can record an album have a record of my jokes or whatever but the really the performance is just for that night with those people and that's kind of what is the thing that i'm always like chasing but I get nothing from that. There's I, nothing permanent from that. There's that's it, I was kind of joking about like the connections, like you know, with a stripper or something. But it's like it's true. Like it's weird, just chasing those those moments of of total happiness of just whatever it is, like that sandwich at fucking yeah, yeah. you know whatever, or the the seven minutes we do on stage, or just connecting with someone. It's just weird because it doesn't last and then it disappears. Yeah, yeah. So, like, is that what we're always chasing? That, like, endorphin rush of, like, 
Yeah, this, that, a, a, like ephoral or this temporal thing. This they were temporary. trying to grab mist or something. You yeah, know, like. it's weird because I, I see it, 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 it. I'm sure women have it too, but so many men I know are just like, "What are you? What are we chasing? What am I looking for?" Like it's it's strange. Yeah, I especially got- when you have something. And I don't mean money, but like I am very happy with. Two, my kids are amazing. I love my kids, yeah, and yeah. my hardships aren't really that hard. Yeah, like w- th- something will happen. I'll just turn to my wife. Like I used to say this years ago all the time. It's a lot less now. I'd be like, "It's gonna be fine. We're gonna figure it out." We always do. So like, it's not even the hardship d- is like not even there because I'm like, "We we figured out all this." Yeah, yeah. We're just gonna figure out this new thing that just popped yeah. up again. So what the fuck is the big deal? Yeah, yeah. We just, that's what we do. Which is like, are we just old? Is that what it is? We're just getting older, and we just less of it bothers us or is it not exciting you know these are just like weird yeah because some of it's like you don't panic anymore because you've no. been through it so many times and that's a good thing mm-hmm. but then it's boring yeah because you're not panicking a- a- Dude, my, anymore. My, my daughter will have a seizure and i'll just be like my wife is amazing my son's gone amazing at it it's like someone else sees it they freak out because it looks crazy but yeah. you've you done it so many times yeah. you're like Whatever you just know what to do. Like yeah. I saw a kid fall today. We we're having ice cream. Me, and my daughter, and a kid fell out out of a, her mom's arms and fell down. That fucking fear in her eyes. The mom. The mom and the terror and the kid. And it's like it's a new pa- like she didn't. She thought something was wrong. And the mom's like, it's gonna be fine. It's, she just fell. And they like you see like I don't feel that anymore. Did you laugh? No, 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 no. I was too busy uh, putting a collar around my daughter's neck. She was trying to. Yeah, the first time you dropped. <laughs> trying to eat the kid. I was like, hey, <laughs> take it easy, Riley. Oh, what are you buying that kid for? <laughs> yeah, first time you drop your baby, it's really stressful. Oh, yeah. I went to the hospital. It's so stressful. Seven, eighth time. Yeah. You know, you and know. they look at you like you're an idiot every time you go there. Yeah. Like, I remember going, not every time, I went there once, and they're like, it's fine. Just was catch he, him on the first bounce. Yeah. 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 It really is. Like he hit the ground, but my son hit the ground, push, and then I'm like, Laura, and she's like, it was your fault. And we we're holding him, and he wouldn't stop crying, and we drove right to the hospital. Oh, really? Is yeah. that a true story? It's a true story. Yeah, you actually dropped your kid and went to the hospital. Yeah, you're a terrible parent. Yeah. I never <laughs> did that. I was just joking around. <laughs> no, yeah, I remember sitting there, and, we're sitting, and he's like, fine. By the time we go to the hospital, he did take him to the hospital at least. Oh yeah, yeah. And then, and then the doctor's just like, you know, kind of like playing around. Let me see his eyes. All right, like he's fine. Did you get like, a thousand questions? No, no, because it was only one one time. My wife had a friend who this kid kept getting hurt, and the children's aide showed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this was like seven times in two months. Yeah, they yeah. went to the hospital for injuries. So some kids are just like fucking some, psychos. And this is yeah. this was the case. Like my wife's friend is not like this at all. The kid's fucking dumb. The kid was uh, break like getting his hand caught in the window, fell yeah. down the stairs, like did a fucking uh those uh paper hole clipper thingies in his ear, like fucking stupid shit. Oh like, really? But Toys up his nose. Yeah, just stupid shit and then the children's aid starts showing up. Just surprise visits at home. Hmm. So it was like, holy fuck. My brother one time, uh, this is his story. Hmm. He's, he used to tell a lot of stories when he was a kid. But he said he was sniffing his eraser on the <laughs> end of his pencil. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it just yeah. sucked up his nose, eh? Oh, That's the little, yeah, the little tiny. Those little, come, yeah. the, they came, it came off and went up his nose. And he had to go get to the doctor and get like yeah. a tweezer out of his nose and stuff like that. But, like, he was sniffing an eraser. You know, he's oh. digging it in his nose with that thing. My, my daughter was going in for <laughs> eye duct surgery, and so she had to fast. And then just to keep her, like, bu- like busy, we went to, like, the chapel in the in the hospital. And I'm, like, just looking at the Quran and all the Torah, whatever the fuck books they had there. And all of a sudden I turn to the I look to the side, and my daughter's choking on something. I don't even know what the fuck it is. She's blue already. And I'm like fucking bang, bang, hitting her, hitting her, fucking trying to like screaming for help. And then finally I hear something come out and she's crying. And then we run to the ER, but we're in the other section of the hospital that was like for the eye duct surgery. And she was about to be put under. That's why she was fasting. And then they're like, what are you doing? You already have this. What do you mean? I'm like, I was in the chapel and she ate something. I think it's a stone because it was like a thing of stones. And she ate the stones, which I thought. And I was like, that's not good. We should. And they like, we sat there. My wife's like freaking out because I didn't have my phone. And I just walked with my daughter. And I was gone for like an hour. She was like freaking the fuck out. And I was like, I have to go get my wife because she's in the the surgery part for the eyes. And then uh, nothing. She didn't swallow it. We left. 
And then I searched the chapel, and it was underneath the seat I was sitting on. I like when I did it. It, it did spit out. out. Yes, it did spit. Was out. it a stone? It was like fucking stone that looked like a chocolate bar. Uh, I have it at home. Yeah, and she was fast, and she was hungry. So she was hungry. That's why I was walking around the hospital with her. Uh, but they were so confused because she already had like a thing and had like a little gown on, just waiting. You're like, no, get... my kid's eating rocks. Yeah, my kid's eating rocks. I'm like, she has autism. Look at her. And she's like, yeah. ah, star, star, star. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's it's fucked, man. Yeah, kids are. Yeah, well, you you know, if they're eating rocks, mm-hmm. they're not generally going to be costing a lot of money in tuition. No, right? no, there's. No, I saved all. That's why we're getting a second car. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah, we're gonna get a second. That car. is the bonus, eh? One of the, my one... kids, my by the oldest, with nothing wrong with them, real stupid. So we're really he's fine. he's also st- yeah. No, really you're lucky. Dumb. I'm both. Yeah. You're gonna save a lot of money. In yeah, it comes from the from the mother intelligence. So I'm pretty. Yeah. I, I I really smartened up there. Yeah, I made a mistake. I went <laughs> yeah. with a smart woman, Ooh. and I got two smart kids, and now I am by You're far tricked. the dumbest. You're tricked with her hotness, though, because you didn't probably even know she was that smart. Um, Did you know she was smart? No, I think I was attracted to her beauty at first, mm-hmm. to be honest with you, and then mm-hmm. I then I found out she was smart, and that's what what did keep me. But the um, but the kids get kids. at first when I met her, she was not as attractive as she is now. That's weird yeah she wasn't she i thought she was but you look back at old pictures yeah. and you're like no i don't know what i even saw in her then really compared to now like oh now she's yeah she got better like even like uh from like 16 to like 20 like was like she improved so much oh wow yeah. oh yeah you started dating her in high school At 16 yeah yeah, yeah. And then uh, I even had people that went to high school with her be like, how did you know she's going to turn out so hot? I'm like, I thought she was always hot. Yeah. I didn't know. They're like, you're dumb. <laughs> but she was ugly. It was true love. Yeah. Actually, she never was ugly, but, she, you know, I just thought, you know, I, I remember when I first met her, I remember exactly what she's wearing and like that there was a, it seemed like there was a light around her. She just oh looked God. perfect, right? That's why I believe in God. There was a light behind her. <laughs> I said I don't. I didn't even say I believe in God. I said Why that do I don't birds? know. I can't. I don't know enough to say I don't believe or that. I but do. that sounds like a religious moment. What? Like there was light around her in my heart. Yeah. Have you have you have never seen anything where it seems like like uh like in slow motion or your memory of it is kind of like highlighted? Or the first something? time I had a Panzerati. What about when that stripper was lap dancing? Yeah, that, that sticky was, part of her spider web. Bro, that was, was yeah. that any of that part? Like, there was some magic there. That was probably a really good day. That for was you. a magical moment. That um, I'm. It was weird because it was just so fast, and I went right for the choke when she slapped me. That's right an instinct. Choke. Yeah, as an instinct, I just went like choke the enemy. You know, choke a woman <laughs> out. I always have to. It's in my. It's in our minds. We. They beat it out of us. Women beat it out of us with their nagging to not murder them. But it's in there for a reason. What? That's when I start believing in God. I think God put that in us. Like, hey, they're going to kill you. Kill them first. I think that the women, uh, <laughs> I think w- women really will kill us, though. Yeah, they don't care. But, but they hate each- they hate themselves more than we hate them, though. You think so? Women hate each other. They hate each other, yeah. not themselves, though. Yeah, but they, like we love, we say brothers, and we mean it. Yeah, yeah, like a brotherhood. Uh, 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 like a, even a, like a woman relationship, even when they like each other, they're meaner mm. and, and more fake with one another. Sisterhood makes me laugh when I hear that. I'm like, that's not even real. Why are yeah. you calling sisterhood sisterhood? That's what like what my pretending. my daughters that my daughters will bust balls. They'll like mm-hmm. like make fun of each other. Like, like sisters may be a little different. Actual sisters, but. I think because they were raised by, by, they have a strong influence for me. Mm-hmm. So I think they're kind of more dudes. Yeah. Like they're a little bit more yeah. dude like than the average girl. Yeah. Like, guys, just random dudes will like, you know, at the job site or in an army, when there's dudes together, there's just instant bond. Yeah. For no reason other yeah. than us being dudes. We figure it out quick. Yeah. And we figure out who we don't like in the groups. So, but then we stick to the guy who we do like or guys we like. Yeah. Girls, it's like I've been again because I worked in the school for a, for a long time, and they're vicious. None of them are real friends. No, there's I know friends. I know girls who've been friends since kindergarten, and they fucked around and hurt each other like that. From kindergarten, they were friends. I wouldn't do that to a, to you, who I only yeah, know through yeah. comedy. Would never like you know as much as I say. It, 
your wife's hot. I would never actually burn you like that and come after you, come after your wife like that. No. But there's girls who are friends since kindergarten that will fucking stab each other in the back like that. Yeah, there's lots of good. There's there's girls that are awesome too and yeah. good friends, but it seems more the exception. They have to like He's, run the gauntlet you. of all those it, other, yes. of all those other bitches. And you their know? friends and the, most of their friends are male. Oh. Sher- Sherry's one of those one of those girls who are like, I know she's like true blue, like like you know shit gets tough. She's gonna have my back. So yeah. one of the boys, like I know a hundred percent that girl has got my back. Yeah, yeah. So, but she's not the average chick. I'm like, I have lots of other female friends. I don't, I wouldn't put them in the same cat. Category. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree. Oh, I got pissed like, so bad. Is that eight hours? How we long? have to do, we just have to, do, <laughs> uh, I do have to piss so bad, but can we do feedback right quick before we go? Yeah, you want a song? Yeah, did let's you, just do it. Do we got feedback. Hey, welcome to Feedback. We got feedback. Uh, this week's segment is brought to you by our friends at Amazon. Go to our website, lifeinthedutchhall.com. Click on our Amazon banner, do your Amazon shopping, and we get some money, and then it gives less for Bezos. And uh, so that's good. Or you go to, uh, if you uh, go to patreon.com slash Dutch Hall if you want to support our show. And we have one supporter right now, our Queen Jen Husko. She gave us this piece of feedback for today. <laughs> And uh, it's got, a, and she says, Hey, Pete, those were a couple of great shows. I loved hearing Lisa and Ryan sharing their stories and laughed that you say the candle ceremony at your wedding entitles you to free access to their toothbrush and razor. Would you use your wife's toothbrush and razor? 100%, yeah. yeah is it because of the candle ceremony at the church, though? No, it's to become I do one. It. No. Oh. Would you use just a strange girl's toothbrush and razor? No. Okay. Um,. <laughs> I'd use your wife's toilet as a after razor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then the Olympics is missing big boobs had me laughing and alternatively flipping you the bird while I was driving. She probably didn't like the big boob talk. Why is that? But flat uh, chested. The the Olympics was very flat chested. Oh, I thought the the listener was flat chested. Oh, maybe she is flat chested. I don't know. I have n- to be honest, Jen. I never really checked your boobs out. Maybe, but but it's not. It wasn't me. You should be mad at my brother on that one. I was watching yeah. Olympics because of the sports. I love sports. And he pointed out that no one had big boobs. And then Yeah, they're athletes. None of them are supposed to have I gotta boobs. i got to be honest. I love her no matter what. Who, Jen? Jen, yeah. Is Jen your know. wife? No. No. Oh. She's our, our queen. Our oh. one Patreon. She gives us $10 a month. <laughs> you charge $10 for your Patreon? No, it's my second tier. She oh. went second tier. Oh, my God. What's it called? What? The Duchess? The Duchess level? She's what? queen. Um... I'm not sure. <laughs> but she is queen. She is queen. Ten, ten bucks. Right. It goes do five you bucks. Go, do you go there and finger her for ten bucks? Whoa. I, I, she has not <laughs> She has not asked. Zero. Listen, ten bucks a month, I'm giving you ten bucks. You better send me something good. I'll do whatever. I'm telling you, I will do whatever Yo, she asks. Is it Jen? Jen, you're listening to this? Yeah, Jen, you listen. make you sit on his face for ten bucks a month. Well that is that for her or me though. It's for her. That You're supposed to make she, her happy for ten bucks a month. Sitting on my face makes her happy. Yeah, yeah. You know what happens when you? A woman it's a win-win. Yeah, that's a win-win. <laughs> Jen, this is for you, and that's for free. <laughs> that's his impersonation, right there. <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta do that. Oh, and then she goes. I agree. The Paralympics would be a great w- included in the Olympics. Thanks for all the shoutouts. Still waiting on the hot tub video. So oh. now uh, for Patreon. Um, uh, supporters, which is we only have one. Uh, I asked if we could put the hot tub video out for you, and Charter says no because he's a fucking pussy or whatever. Thanks a lot, Pete. And uh, I said that uh, because it's only Jen, I put it out anyways. Uh-huh. So it's on there right now. I'm going to have to take it down. It's against Dave's wishes. But if you become a Patreon sponsor in the near future, I would not yet have taken it down, and you're going to get full access to the Hot Tub video. It's on there. So go to patreon.com slash Dutch Hall. And uh, if you're having any struggles in your life, if you're not having any trouble achieving your personal goals, go to betterhelp.com. That's uh, betterhelp.com slash Dutch Hall. 
Um, and it's not a self-help line. It's not a, a crisis line. It's uh, professional counseling done discreetly. And it's available to anyone worldwide. We have shorter lines and less. It's actually less money than if you go to a traditional offline counseling. So once again, you can go to betterhelp.com slash Dutch Hall. That's better, H-E-L-P dot com slash Dutch Hall. And Dutch Hall listeners will get uh, 10% off their first month. That's betterhelp.com slash Dutch Hall. That's it for sponsors. And if you'd like to give us some feedback, please do it by going to uh, live from the Dutch Hall, gmail.com or go to any of the social media stuff and uh, just uh, hit us up in our DMs and let us know what you think of the show. And we're going to thank you to everyone that's done that. Um, I also like there has been there was actually more to read on that. But we're at the end of the show. So I just want to do quick impressions. All right. This is the impression I've been working on. Okay. This is, um, I don't know his name, but he's in the Loki, you know, like yeah, yeah. it's the Owen Wilson, Owen Wilson, yeah. right? So this is Owen Wilson. Yeah. I don't know the character's name in the, is what yeah. I mean. What is it? Oh, fuck. I, uh, Mobi- uh, Mo- Mobius. Mobius? Yeah, Mobius. Okay. So this is Owen. Of course I know. <laughs> it's like, duh. Owen Wilson. Uh, it's Mobius. Uh, asking questions. Okay. Mobius asking questions. Mm-hmm. Okay? okay, that's the impression I'm working on. Right. <laughs> okay, I have to try. I have to try to do it. I have to get in this. Ooh, wait. Where? Why? <laughs> How? Ooh. I got my eyes closed. <laughs> wait. How? Oh, that was good. That, that, that how was the good. how was really good. <laughs> the rest of it was trash. Yeah, I've worked do on how it. again. Do how again. How? That's that's <laughs> fucking that's that's not bad. You just got part stick one. It to how? So this is if oh, it's man. just let me, clo- let me close my eyes again. How? <laughs> <laughs> it is. That was like Lightning McQueen right there. Yeah. yeah. There it is. Anyways, that's the impression for this week. Did you I watch just, Loki? It was good. Yeah, I did. I yeah. actually liked it. Yeah. Um. Do you want my impression? Yeah. yeah you Wait. Do you, do you, do you, you were gonna do Kevin? Me? Yeah. Yoda. That's the only one I know. That's it. Just his name. Yoda. Use the force, Luke. I don't know. All right. Yeah. Okay. I do I, I do. I do. Uh, I do. Uh, I do. Ernie. Um. Hey, Bert. It's time to go get some pigeons. <laughs> Come on. Like yeah. That's pretty Come good. On. Hey, Bert. Hey, Bert. Uh, <laughs> and then Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog here, uh, reporting live from Sesame Street. Ah! <laughs> They're very similar. They're very can similar. Did, can you do Jim Henson getting AIDS? Uh, <laughs> oh my god that's a huge black dick in my ass <laughs> yeah there we go did he have a he didn't die by it. Uh, I'm not sure yo he was no gay was he <laughs> cut that <laughs> you're like I want to cut that out I'm pretty sure he, uh, I'm not uh, no he had he, he was he, he was he, gay no he wasn't he had a daughter or something didn't he I don't know can I, gay people have kids what are you talking about can he have kids they, I don't you're I, blowing my mind here I don't know. I always, I always thought Jim Henson. I don't was think gay. Jim Henson's gay. He, because they did Sesame Street is pretty gay, right? You shut your mouth when you talk about Sesame Street. You put respect. On no, it. but they were they were big on gay issues. Like the, yeah, they're very uh, uh, they're progressive. Yeah, they've always been progressive. Very. You know liberal. Bob that played the piano? He's gay. Bob from Sesame Street. You know that Bob. Played the p- who's Bob? For- oh, Bob. Yeah, of course. Bob. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's always got the picture of his yeah. lover on the piano yeah, that died of AIDS. That. Right? Yeah, but I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not saying Jim Henson's. I'm not questioning because I don't want him to be gay. I don't care if he's gay. I'm just saying I don't think he was gay. Eh. Not that I care that he's gay. I know? don't know. Can like you... one of my best friends, like Michael Moses, is gay. I'm fine with it. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Really? Yeah. You know that? I did not know that about Moses. Yeah. How long has he been out for? Did he come out? <sighs> he came out. Yeah. He's pretty gay. AJ's bi. Oh, like I have a lot of LGBTQ friends. Like AJ Bay is bisexual. Yeah, yeah. Well, wow, see, this is all stuff I didn't know. See, I I always judge a person by like the. I don't really care about. Oh, I don't care either. I love them. So, so like, I just, yeah. I just, uh, you know, know them mm-hmm. for their friendship and their t- their mm-hmm. uh, fellowship. Yeah, but I, didn't, I had no idea they were like that. I knew that um, Russell Peters also gay. <laughs> You know that? Russell Peters, yeah. really? Yeah, I got fucked a couple times by him, yeah. You did? I'm not gay, but I did let him fuck me. Wow, this is yeah. a very, this is a lot of stuff coming out at the end of the show. Yeah, I mean. For the- those that stayed to the very end of the show, <laughs> they were, you really are going to get a few tips there. Michael Moses, I heard, mm. I I heard another rumor about him. Yeah. But, 
But I didn't know if it's true. I heard that he's actually bald. Oh, my God. So true. Yeah. But I saw him with hair. But, yeah, he's bald from the stress of being in the closet so much. And so he's finally stepped out, and he's fine now. But I saw him at my yeah. house with hair. Yeah, that was the that was what we call like a closet for your head. Like he was oh. hiding behind the fake hair. And then this is something about you. I honestly, mm. I saw you at a, that shoot because I had to do acting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you thought I was by? No, you had no hat on. Yeah. And I, I thought you got a haircut because mm-hmm. you, you, you uh, cut it very close to the scalp. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And then I was like, what was Joe's hair like before? Mm-hmm. You know? And I couldn't remember how you cut your hair before that. Yeah, and, usually just... And then I realized you don't have any hair. No, I don't have I'm bald. I had no, I fu- no idea. Mine's from stress from being married. I had no idea you didn't have hair. You didn't know I didn't have it? No, I had no idea. I found that out like a, a month ago. That I didn't have hair? Yes. Oh, my God. That's how, that's how little I paid attention to it. <laughs> He liked you for right? who you were. Oh, that's no, I like, mean, but you wear a hat then all the time. Yeah, a lot of times, but not all the time. But I honestly time. had no idea. Yeah, I had no idea. I that, mean, my profile pictures all have no hats on them. But I mean, are you serious? Yeah, but you know right. what? Steve the Reluctant German. He was on this show for years. Mm-hmm. I honestly had no idea that he. He's also gay. Did you know that? And I didn't know that <laughs> Steve came out as gay. Oh, I knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the old school. Yeah, yeah. Charters straight. That's weird. That was a weird one. Mm, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's oh, fantastic. <laughs> technically, technically straight. Technically, technically straight, straight. Yeah. It's it. You know, it is bestiality. <laughs> oh, like I mean, yeah. I don't like inner kip style. Bestiality? Like, it's, sure, it's a it's a female horse. Yeah, but, but it's, it's still a horse. I don't. I'm not for it. Yeah, but I think it's, he, he. I would be in the wedding party for that wedding for the horse. Yeah, the horse and charters. Or yeah, for you'd, sure. You'd stand up for the horse though. I would be on the on charter side. You'd yeah. say, be on charter side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, don't know the horse. I I just support the relationship. What? Can you believe that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which side would you'd be the best man? Oh, I don't think so. No. He's got a brother. He'd okay. probably ask his brother. Would you officiate the ceremony? I don't like horses. You don't like oh. horses. No, I don't like horses. Oh. I have a, I have bad memories of horses. You are a and uh, I don't enjoy them. Horsephobic. I, I think horses are are, are filthy creatures. Horses. And I have no. I have no. Uh, I would like to do nothing but eat them in a sandwich. Wow, that's how much I dislike so horses. You love mortadella. Yeah, I, I go to the Dutch. Uh, I'll go to the Dutch uh, bakery in uh, Norwich. Get myself some nice horse meat, put it on a sandwich, and feed it to a horse lover. Wow. That's what I'll do. And then use some glue to put up some comedy posters. Anything. From a horse. Anything. I'll just squirt the glue on the ground so they got to kill more of them to make more. <laughs> <laughs> fucking horses. That's what I say about horses. Yeah, fuck horses. Not a horse lover. Not a, unless they're gay and you're totally fine with it. Mm, yeah. Gay horses are cool. Uh, no, I don't like horses. Even gay ones, eh? No, I judge a person by the content of their character and all horses are shit. <laughs> It doesn't matter if you're gay or straight as a horse. <laughs> Just a piece of shit. <laughs> Just a shitty, that's a, shitty animal. That's the same way I feel about people in inner kip. Oh, <laughs> shots fired. Yeah, I want. I still think that we got to get Joe booked in inner kip, or yeah. at the very least, get you booked somewhere else, and then bring you a busload of inner kip yeah, people. Yeah. To it'd just be, boo you. It'd be easier to bring them because they're always attached to each other's assholes because they're always fucking each other, especially wow. if they're related. To be honest, Joe, if you could get, uh, if you could get booked at like booked at clubs, mm-hmm. do and they you, have clubs in there, Kip, that aren't for just fucking each other's family members? No, but let's say you got like booked at a good club, but you knew yeah. that people in there, Kip, hated you so much, yeah, that they would travel anywhere to see you, yeah, and then therefore you became a draw because of the hate. Because of the hate, you're a draw now, mm-hmm. and so clubs will book you because you actually draw. Yeah. But when the people who you draw get there, mm-hmm. they just fucking boo you. Boo me, yeah. So you keep getting booked, but I you're would, getting booked I'm by down. people, you do it? There's nothing wrong with what you're saying right now. Okay. <laughs> because it's still a reaction. They're yeah. still engaged in you. They're, like, yeah. Hate is way better than indifference. Yeah, because like, hate comes from love. They yeah. know I'm right. It's a strong emotion. They know they suck. <laughs> They're like, we should be from Delhi. Why are we in Interkip? They're like, why does this even exist? Like, it should be all pavement, really. The Interkip? Interkip should just be paved over with the people living still inside the houses. You ever been to the quarry? Just pave, 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 
Air fill bender. fill the quarry up. We got <laughs> pools with chlorine that killed the cum coming out of their pee holes. There you Can go. You believe that? <laughs> well, there you go, Interkip. I'm going to say that that's a great way to end this program. <laughs> if you've listened to this and you have something to say, maybe you want to like uh, have a comeback. <laughs> maybe you want to like uh, set up a face to face with Mr. Batello. <laughs> Please do so by going to live from the Dutch Hall Gmail dot com or giving us a bit of feedback. <laughs> And what do you think of this guy? But thank you very much, Joe. If you'd like thank to you. support Joe, go follow him at the Angry Skeptic on mm. the socials, or you can go listen to Go Home Joe on all uh, everything Spotify. Everything Spotify, and it comes new I episodes come out on Mondays. Mondays, yeah. This Monday we didn't have one. Things happen, bro. I'm making movies. Things happen. Ooh. Life's happening. But this Monday, no. But next Monday we'll have one. Yeah, it's been pretty regular, and mm-hmm. uh, so you can check it out. Go, go home, Joe. Oh, I forgot. I was also also talking about Nasty Frames Film Festival. Fuck, I didn't say it at all. Oh, August twenty seventh. There, there's a film festival in Hamilton. People under the stairs. Uh, it's a film that me, AJ Moses made. It's called uh, I forget now. Are you still here? Or some I forget. How do I forget the name of my own movie? But yeah, so check it out. August twenty seventh. I, I watched it. Did you watch it? Yeah. So it's a the Nasty Frames Film Festival in Hamilton. Check it out. We're part of the film festival cool check out my web check out my instagram and all the information for are you still what's the name of my movie how do i forget it I it's aj he writes his stupidest titles anyway <laughs> yeah um i don't know if i want to i don't know if i want anyone to see the movie i'm in uh i i i, I, yeah. I want it to do well yeah I, I just want don't want anyone to, to see my part. Let me just say, Pete, I know this is the end of their show. I know this is the end of the show. Pete, you were amazing. <laughs> Pete, you've been amazing. Uh, I'm, uh, I don't agree. I think you've been amazing. Thank you, Joe, but I don't agree. I think uh, I would like no one to see it. Well, then don't come to Sundance because that's where it's going to show up. Oh, yeah. fucking Con. right. Con. Is that? <laughs> yeah. Con Film Festival. The yeah. Inner Kip Film Festival. The Cannes Film Festival. <laughs> Uh, okay, <laughs> maybe I am that good. The cannot film. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Anyways. you could be. I'll I'll let you come in for free. Oh, thanks, dude. Yeah. All right. Anyways, that's our show. Uh, until next week, we will see you. Nt. See you next Thursday. Oh, and I got a good fart. Wait, I want to see if I can end it with it. And pee your pants. Oh no, I'm gonna shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it totally wouldn't have been anything good. Anyway, sorry. See you. Nt. See you next Thursday. Hit it, Cab. Damn it!